It was another miserably hot, dry day here in Northeast Arkansas. I stayed inside most of the day. I was productive though. We've uh, been working on trying to get our yellow squash all preserved for the winter time. For this batch, we decided to try and freeze it so that we can fry it later on. So it's pre-battered, it's in the freezer, it's ready to go. I've tried this before. The last time I did it, we battered all of it and just tossed it into a Ziploc bag and put it in the freezer. It all ended up clumping together and freezing. And then when we went to fry it, the outsides cooked okay, but inside, as the, as the ice began to melt, all of the batter got wet and it turned everything gooey and nasty. And it was no good. It did not work. We ended up throwing all of that away. But I think I've learned the trick on how you can freeze your pre-battered squash and that way you can fry it in the future. Uh, all you have to do is wait until tomorrow and I'll post that video and you can watch it. But for today, I am out by the Minecraft raised garden bed where we grew our potatoes. We were able to pull 58 pounds of potatoes out of this thing. That's my best potato haul ever. We still have some kale growing, kind of. The uh, the worms or some kind of bug looks like it's been getting to it. It's about devoured, but that's okay. Also over here we have some radishes that have gone to seed. And they're just about ready to harvest. Got these little seed pods here. We'll open those up. And there are the little seeds inside. I don't know what's going on with these. But they've got all these little black dots on them. I'm guessing that there's some kind of bug out here with one of those straw-like proboscises. Proboscis? What's the plural for proboscis? That's probably what's going on. They're probably draining the, the lifeblood out of these things. But directly across from the Minecraft raised garden bed, we have our cattle panel trellis here and on one side Chinese red noodle beans not doing anything yet they're getting ready to pop out some flowers boy the ants love these plants right here and apparently the ticks are loving me today look at this one two three this is a bad spot goodness but what I brought you over here to see were the snake gourds. Now these are one of my favorite things to grow now. I grew them for the first time last year. I got the original seeds from Papa Pepper. In fact, I got the original seeds for these and the Chinese red noodle beans from Papa Pepper. And these plants on both sides came from the seeds that I harvested from last year's crop, which is awesome. But here we have what well, looks to be the first snake gourd of the season beginning to grow. Exciting times. I'm gonna have to keep an eye on this one. Now these snake gourds, they get huge and they're still edible. I just saw one of Papa Pepper's videos where he harvested one of these. It was four feet long and still tender without seeds. All he had to do was wash it, slice it up and cook it and it was ready to eat. I think he said he was going to stir fry his. I've tried them last year. Mostly I ate them fried like squash. And to me, it, it was kind of a, a perfect blend between a squash and a fried green tomato. It had that a little bit of tang that you get out of a fried green tomato. They were really good. So I'm super excited that I'm gonna have some growing this year. And the best part is that I'm still gonna be able to keep those seeds and grow them again next year and the year after and the year after. But that's really all I have today. I just wanted to come out and show you this part of the property. I'm never, I usually don't come out here anymore because the most of the garden is way over there. But I did want you to see the snake gourd that's getting ready to grow. Hopefully we'll be harvesting that thing here very soon and that'll be another video don't forget to tune in again tomorrow so you can see how to freeze your pre-battered squash ready to fry just toss it in the skillet and go but in the meantime you can click on one of these right here for more daily sustainable living